In many Native American legends, a skinwalker is a person with a supernatural ability to turn into any creature he or she desires. To be able to transform, legend sometimes requires that the skinwalker wears a pelt of the animal. In most cases, this pelt is not used in modern times because it is an obvious sign of them being skinwalkers. It's a common theme found throughout cultures all over the world and is referred to as shape-shifting by anthropologists. Prior to becoming skinwalkers, they are Navajo healers, which are sacred people who have personal powers that give them the ability to cure the sick and help the injured. They are the conductor of the magic of the people, and in this capacity, they have the power to protect. Their healing practices are in chants and songs. They perfect these songs and use them to conduct their life work. These mystical figures are very powerful. However, the medicine man can use their powers for evil. And when they complete a specific ritual, they will then make a transformation into the most feared skinwalker. Skinwalkers achieve their powers by breaking a terrible taboo, such as raping a family member, murdering one's parents, or committing cannibalism. Because of the methods needed to become a skinwalker, there is no such thing as a good skinwalker. Skinwalkers feed off the life force of their victims, off of fear, terror, and especially the energy that escapes the bodies of human victims upon their death. Skinwalkers also possess magical darts or arrows made from human bones. They shoot these darts and arrows at their victims, if the evil magic is not taken off by a medicine man, then the victim will sicken and die. In seeking victims, skinwalkers like to scare people by stalking families for some time by peeking in their windows, chasing cars, and showing themselves to people in the dark at night, all before making their move to kill. In effect, skinwalkers, being the evil monsters they are, like to play with their food. They need to produce the most fear in their victims as possible in order to feed. Skinwalkers are communal and meet up for nocturnal meetings in underground lairs that are strewn with human remains. Skinwalkers possess the powers of shape-shifting, powerful black magic, telepathy, mind control, and can possess people. Additionally, skinwalkers are immune to most natural weapons. Skinwalkers can run exceptionally fast, even in human form. They can run so fast, they can keep up with a speeding car. Skinwalkers use a powder called corpse dust. This dust comprises of ground infant bones, often twin infants, specifically bones from the fingertips and back of the skull. The skinwalker then blows it into the faces of their victims or down the chimneys of the victim's home. Soon after the victim breathes the dust in, their tongue starts to swell and blacken. They undergo convulsions and die not long after. Do not look a skinwalker in the eyes, for to do so will put you under their power and allow them to possess you. Pay attention to animals. Animals will act extremely bizarre when a skinwalker is around, as they can sense its presence. Also, animals that a skinwalker transforms into can hurt it when it is in such animal form. For example, if a skinwalker is in coyote form, then another coyote could attack it for stealing the shape of its kind and mimicking their spirit, as a skinwalker is an imposter. Be observant. When a skinwalker transforms, it never fully imitates perfectly an animal. There will always be something off or not right about it. For example, a skinwalker may be too large in animal form or may walk strangely. Skinwalkers usually do not physically attack their victims upon their first meeting. Instead, they like to steal hair or fingernail clippings to use in black magic against the person first. 
so make sure to properly dispose of such items so that a skinwalker cannot get them. Skinwalkers can be killed with bullets or other weapons that have been blessed by a medicine man and dressed with holy ash.